Welcome to this mini tutorial in the series Ways to Come Up with a Research Question. This session follows up the idea of considering whether there was anything that you were sceptical about on your course, which you could now follow up in your own study. This is Jen. She studies sociology. Jen was having difficulty thinking of a suitable research question for her dissertation. Her tutor suggested that there may have been something on her course that she'd been sceptical about. If there was, then this could be a chance for her to investigate it further. Thinking back over her course, Jen remembered that in the module on medical sociology, she'd found it hard to believe some of the very high levels of patient satisfaction that she read about. Hospitals were quoting scores of well over 90% patient satisfaction with their hospital care and Jen felt it was very unlikely that this was a true reflection of how patients really thought. She remembered wondering whether the super high scores might be due to the way the information had been collected, which was by questionnaires. Perhaps patients had just ticked the boxes without thinking too much, and perhaps they felt there wasn't a suitable way of recording any particular criticisms. This might be something that she could investigate herself, whether patients did have anything more negative to feed back to hospitals and how they might be able to do that. Would actually talking with patients give Jen some insight into how they were evaluating their health care? And perhaps she could investigate why negative opinion appeared to be missing from the questionnaire responses. But there isn't much time for this study, so she can't interview many people. Perhaps she could hold a focus group instead. How could she gain access to talk with patients? Perhaps she could go via a patient support group associated with a particular medical condition. Meeting some patients with the same condition could work well. She could ask them to talk about their experiences of hospital care. It would be useful to hear how they talked both positively and negatively when they were speaking, compared with the almost uniform positive responses that have tended to be recorded via questionnaires. So Jen came up with the following research focus. Positive and negative. How patients talk about their experiences of healthcare in hospital. An exploratory focus group study of patients with XXXX. The medical condition chosen would depend on which group of patients agreed to take part. This is a realistic and relevant research focus using an appropriate research approach and is a doable project. So, if you're having difficulty coming up with a research focus, you could try thinking back to something that you were sceptical about earlier on in your course. This may be a chance for you to investigate it further. There are more mini-tutorials in this series on our website.